In a Newcastle lab, scientists simulate what it's like to walk on the moon. If you imagine you've got a spacesuit on, you've got a big backpack behind you with your life support system, you potentially you're holding tools and rock samples. Suspended at a slight angle, it mimics lunar gravity, just one sixth of the Earth's, and they can study how the body moves. Take away gravity and the way you walk on Earth just feels so unnatural. You want to take a longer stride, you want to lope, you want to bounce, just like those Apollo astronauts on the moon. It's one small step for man. Humans are going back to the moon and this time they're better prepared. For 25 years, astronauts have been living and working on the International Space Station for several months at a time. They've been guinea pigs for studies of what happens to the human body in microgravity. Muscles and bones get weaker, DNA changes and the eyes can be damaged. Tim Peake was on board for 186 days. Effectively, you're taking relatively fit, healthy individuals and you're putting them through a 20-year ageing process in a period of about two months. And then you're watching that reverse when they come back to Earth again. So things like um, bone atrophy, muscular atrophy, um, skin ageing, immune system changing, even changes to our eyesight, um, is an incredible environment for studying all of that. Um, and in, in terms of our cardiovascular health as well. Exercise can help astronauts stay stronger. Tim Peake even ran the London Marathon in orbit. But the scientists at the Space Medicine Lab are trying to find new ways of exercising. So how much does that weigh? Two kilos. That's a lot lighter than I would normally use. They found that wearing a tourniquet to restrict the flow of blood and oxygen to muscles means you get all the benefit with lighter weights and shorter sessions. It's already been tested in space. Yeah, it really yeah. does burn now. It could make exercise more efficient in space, so as we move on from the International Space Station to Lunar Gateway, Lunar Habitats and then eventually onto Mars, we can't take all the big, heavy, bulky exercise equipment that's currently used on the ISS. So we need ways that we can make exercise more efficient and optimise it, and this arguably is a leading candidate to do so. And lift off of Artemis 1. Within the next few weeks, astronauts will launch on a mission that flies them around the Moon for the first time in 53 years. And by the end of the decade, both NASA and the Chinese Space Agency hope to have astronauts exploring the moon for long periods. It is an alien environment for humans. OK. And helping astronauts prepare and adapt starts with lab studies on Earth. Just let everything settle. It feels like I'm coming back to Earth and it feels really weird. Thomas Moore, <laughs> Sky News in Newcastle.